talk about a lot of things through the through the course of the system. But this lettuce, for whatever reason, is the same age as that lettuce. <laughs> you know, and some of them are bolting a little faster. It's every every area has its own unique characteristics, and, and learning your system will be a big part of how efficient you're able to be. And a lot of it is intuition. Some people refer to it as intuition, but I, I prefer to think of it as more uh, the not the woo, but simply the unconscious knowledge that you don't even know what you know. So you get a feeling in your body about something. But it still is within the realm of knowledge. There's a lot of areas right here, and Shao Chen has been brilliant. I mean, that's one of the things I really wanted to do before Shao Chen left, is yesterday, we, after our meeting, morning meeting, we, we, or day before yesterday, we dropped everything, we walked around for an hour with Shao Chen just to get all of his impressions. I have my own intuitions. I have my own best guesses. But he's worked here for a year. Other than me and Tim, to uh, Shao Chen's been the longest, the longest time we've ever had. Caitlin was the second closest. Caitlin was eight months. <laughs> we've had a lot of people come, and a lot of, a lot of great people come, and a lot of great people go, and some of them have built their own systems. We've got four or five people that have built systems after coming and interning. One guy is building a full commercial system. Uh, two people, actually, are building full commercial systems with the intention of selling a Costco. We have a Costco account. I was, I'm still amazed we have a Costco account. I have never kept a garden plant. I mean, I've never had a garden. I've never even kept a house plant alive. I was one of those people who'd forget to water for like six weeks and I'd try to massively overcompensate by watering every day for a week. <laughs> and then my plant would die. And I bought beautiful indoor plants too. I, one time, well, I was a student, I spent $100 on an indoor ficus with a braided, beautiful hundred dollars was a lot of money then and I killed it and I killed every other house plant I ever tried to grow if anybody had told me three and a half years ago I would be doing this I would have said you are insane you know and uh, I and here I am and a, a year and a half after beginning we had a Costco account it was eating the elephant one bite at a time and I can show you how I did it. We're going to talk a lot about it in the training. Uh, organic certification and food safety certification were supposed to be both impossible. I'll tell you how I did that. Um, and it wasn't anything particularly, it was more like dogged determination. It was overcoming objections. And with Costco, it was simply a matter of if you build it, they will come, sort of. Field of Dreams. I, I made the bag. I made a huge bag that was too big to sell anywhere but Costco. I spent $5,000 on the bag that we couldn't afford on one shot. It took me eight months of politely requesting the buyers who live in Seattle to come to the farm because Costco won't allow you to be a vendor until they visited your factory, your farm, whatever. And there, ha there happened to be a store opening in Kapolei on Oahu. And if that hadn't happened, they never would have come here, and I would not have a Costco account. A lot of things fell into place for this to happen. And when the woman came to the farm, who's the buyer for the entire West Coast, she and her assistant, and she got out of her car and she tripped up the, that little rocky driveway with her high heels on, and she looked around at the farm, I didn't say, here is my farm, look at what I can grow for you. I handed her, her the bag of chilled lettuce and said, here's your product. Her next question to me was, when can you supply to the other Costco's in Hawaii? And I said, I don't want to. And she looked at me like I had three heads and they were all green. She said, what do you mean? And I said, I believe that someone on Maui should grow for the Maui store. And someone on Oahu should grow for the Oahu stores. And somebody on Kauai should grow for the Kauai store. And those people, after two years of invitation and holding the door open, people are finally starting to walk through. In Hawaii, we could corner the market on locally grown produce, sold through Costco. We have a hui called World Tribe Foods. Our lettuce, and I should have a bag of lettuce. I should have a bag of lettuce for you guys. I'm gossiping about our lettuce right now. Well, it's here, but I'm, I'm gossiping about the bag of lettuce. 
but there's people here who have actually seen it, so they can. <laughs> um, and we'll, I will bring bags of lettuce to the to the training. But the bag of lettuce is designed. All I did was design a bag that I would buy if I'd seen it there. I know nothing about designing bags. I've never made a bag in my life. I didn't even know how to use Illustrator. I tried to do it in Photoshop. That's how little I know. I've used Photoshop for years. I've never done anything in Illustrator, and I was quite proud of that. And the bag was the first thing I had to do in Illustrator. Boy, was I. I don't like that program. But I got this bag done, and it turned out to be exactly, they didn't want to change anything. I mean, I asked her, I said, please give me feedback on this bag. I know nothing about bags. What would you change? I'd take it with you and tell me. And she called me a week later and said, the bag's great. So it's sold under the brand name of World Tribe Foods. Because I thought we, we made up a name. <laughs> and World Tribe sounded like it would be a hui. A hui means group in Hawaii. A hui, you join together. You hui together. So you have more power and more flexibility and more fun. In the Hawaiian tradition, you were either an enemy or you were family, ohana. I kind of like that. I have a third category of people I'm just not quite sure of yet, but basically that's how we play, is we invite you guys, insofar as you would like to, join our family, or now has become known as our family. And it doesn't mean you have to live here like some of the people do. It means more a philosophical and attitudinal joining, along with some actions which may or may not lead to a business partnership. But that door is open for anyone who'd like to, to walk through it. I can get anyone into Costco if they want to sell under our brand name and if they get organic certification and food safety certification. And they use our procedures. And if you want to do it on your own, I'll tell you how to do that too. Because we are so far from having a saturated market in the Costco's alone that I, there could be 500 more aquaponics farms, from what I could tell. Okay, any questions? All right, the last thing I want to show you and then we're going to wrap is this is the tiny microsystem behind you. And this is a system you can feel free to uh, take bites out of. The mint, you can taste the mint, the Italian parsley, the leeks, the huge and massive green ash, two different kinds of leeks. Uh, the tiny green onions, which are not looking too healthy. <laughs> um, everything tastes really good. That's the last piece I'll leave you with. Uh, Tim was quite concerned when he went down to the Virgin Islands because he knew about hydroponics and how vegetables and hydroponics often taste. They look beautiful, but they don't taste very good. They taste watery and they're almost, I don't know, it's, it's so quintessentially American. It looks beautiful, very but it has no substance. <laughs> <laughs> water crustier. I don't even know how to say that with Italian person. <laughs> um, you can grow all sorts of weird things. Kohlrabi. Growing on the surface of the raft. Onions grow on the surface of the raft. tastes about twice as good. We have never done new, we've never done nutritional analysis. We've never had an extra 35 bucks a pop to send the food off to the lab. I'd love to have that done. If I had spare money, I would do that in a heartbeat. We have yet to have spare money. <laughs> Someday. About, it has about four times the shelf life too. Mm -hmm. uh, our, our lettuce farmer friend said, I would be a little concerned about your shelf life because I know hydroponic lettuce doesn't last very long. So the very first lettuce harvest we did, we put it in a baggie and put it in the refrigerator. And we, and we got five days out of it, and it wasn't slime in the bottom of the baggie, we breathed a sigh of relief. When we got 10 days, we knew we were commercially viable, and we forgot the bag. 